Hello, hacker. Welcome back. Today, I wanted to talk about one of the easiest ways to get credentials on a network. Uh, could be domain admin administrator credentials, could be just normal user credentials, but typically whether you're starting out a pen test uh, internally or you're hacking a network, um, getting a set of credentials could be difficult. So attacking printers, which are known to be one of the most vulnerable devices on a network, will definitely, uh, will definitely get you there. So what we're kind of exploiting is LDAP, right? I mean, LDAP is, is, a, is a clear text protocol used in printers, other networking technologies. It kind of delivers emails, names, et cetera, to, uh, to a device so that it can kind of use the functionality of whatever is in the Active Directory. Um, but being that it's clear text, it can be intercepted over the network, or uh, it could be captured directly using raw socket applications like Netcat. So how do you exploit this? So let's say we start on a test, internal penetration test. We're looking to, we're look, we're looking to hack devices, right? So we want to use like Nmap or some other network scanner and look for devices that are running on port 80 and port 443, right? These are going to be your HTTP and HTTPS. Uh, type web application servers. So this is going to help us identify if there's any web servers running on the network. So then the next step is we want to start kind of browsing to these IP addresses, right? Opening up Firefox, typing in the IP address, and seeing if it displays a printer console. So if you get a printer console, a couple things you want to try is default credentials, right? These would be things like admin, admin, admin password, um, or you can use other techniques to brute force the printer trying to find that right con combination of usernames and passwords. Or if you have some other secret sauce, uh, you know, feel free to use that to get inside of the printer. So once you're in, you want to start looking to see if that printer has LDAP capabilities. Uh, you know, things, uh, you can look under the settings, under network protocols typically, and if you see LDAP, you can click onto that, onto that setting and it should bring you to the configurations page. Um, and then once you're there, you want to see if there's a username configured because if not, then this, this exploit really doesn't work. So the first step is you want to fire up Netcat. So we have uh, Netcat running. It's listening verbosely on port 4444. And here's our Netcat listening. So this is going to, this is, this is setting it up because we want to set our workstation, our attacking workstation up to uh, listen for intercepting connections on this port. And, and you'll see why in the next slide. So this is a, uh, a screenshot of what, of, of, of one particular printer. And a couple of things we'll see here is that we're in the LDAP configuration settings page, right? Um, here's a L, the, the type of method that's being used. But one of the things to look at is, is here, right? So here we have a user configured. It's called LDAP user. It's at yourdomain.com. But the password is, you know, concealed. It's blocked out. We can't see it. But this is the password that we're attacking. This is the password that we want to go after. So right below it in step two, this is the LDAP server. And what we want to do here in this box is we want to remove this IP address and we want to put the IP address of our workstation in this box. And then next, this port where it says 389, which is used for LDAP, we want to change this to 4444. And the reason why is we have our Netcat listener set up to listen on 4444. So now that we have this configured, we want to press the test button. Now what will happen is, once we hit the test button, it will try to authenticate against our host to see if it has access to the domain, right? But it's going to fail, but what will happen is that printer will send those credentials that were concealed in clear text to our Netcat listener, giving us a username and password. So now we have a username and password, we can use those for lateral movement, we can try to scan the network ranges to see if those particular credentials have access to any workstations on the network. And if they do, and let's say, for example, domain users is set as a local admin, we can then scrape hashes. We can then scrape uh, you know, passwords and memory using Mimikatz 
and then using those passwords to maybe try to elevate privileges to a higher level on the network. So that's it. Uh, you guys have your set of credentials all from an insecure printer. If you like this video, if you want to see more videos like this, please subscribe and uh, I'll see you in the pipes.